Hi, I'm Hannah from St. Luke Teen Center, and I'm a senior. Represent! And this is my poem called, I Finally Made It. Age six, she was a dancer, innocent, free-spirited, learning to spell, talking to her imaginary friends, playing dress-up with her little brother, two loving parents supporting her. Gymnastics practice three days a week for three hours. Everything was perfect. Eight. Her parents divorcing. Dad moved out. He got an apartment. She saw him on weekends, mopping up the house, hard times, her brother five. Playing Barbies in the basement, still dancing, adjusting to her new life. Ten. She stopped dancing, but still shining, smiling, still innocent, pure, not wanting to grow up. Two pet rats, Templeton and Nicodemus. Dad house hunting, still adjusting to her new life. Twelve. Sixth grade. She got a bedroom in her new dad's house, painted blue, white curtains. Get to name Maxwell, who hid behind the shelf of her bedroom. Her mom found love again, tall and lean. Treats her mother right, loves her kids like they were his own. Fourteen. Starting high school, very nervous, walking through double doors, memorizing locker combos, getting hit in the face with a volleyball. She was shy and quiet, not knowing who she was yet. Packing her blue lunchbox every day, learning how to drive, meeting her best friends in biology class. 17, senior class of 2015, wanting to graduate, applying, getting accepted, meeting deadlines, staying up late, trying not to get too stressed out, finding out her aunt has breast cancer, Monday night prayers. She wants so much, she wants to be remembered. First semester done, one more left, four months to go. 21, graduation. She walks the stage in her cap and gown, proud shoulders, smile on her face, people cheering her name, camera flashes, tears running down her face. 25, owning her own art studio, working noon to five, small apartment, puffy fat cat, Selling houses on the side, bills piled on countertops, magazines unopened, unpacked boxes, going with the flow, she meets the love of her life. 30. She has come this far, an engagement ring on her delicate finger, white lace, her mother smiles, her father takes her hand and walks her down the aisle. People smiling, tears running down her face, they say their wedding vows. 32. Laying in a hospital bed, faithful husband, husband by her side, even though she's in pain, she holds her fragile baby in her arms. She hums a lullaby, looks up, and says a silent prayer. Looking over at her husband, she says, we finally made it. <laughs>